Okay, I'm working on a new project, and uh, while it's not too terribly creative, the solution I thought was pretty interesting, so I thought I'd show it to you. Let's check it out. It's in pretty good shape, but you can see here <clears throat> that the springs are all broken out. Here's the spring. It's got a hook on one end and then it's all curved and that's the part that's broken off. So looking at this shape I figured that these are about you know half an inch in here and I found this old um, wood piece it's a handle from an old plunger and that fits just about perfectly. So I'm going to take this guy I'm going to chop it up into small pieces and then get it ready to put into the board. Alright, to help move this along, and uh, because I didn't like the live audio, here's a voiceover that doesn't match with the rest of the audio. I'm going to use this piece of wood and the broken spring as a template. I'm going to draw on the inside of the curves, and then I'm going to take those small wooden pieces that I used, uh, well, that were created from the, uh, the handle of the plunger. I'm going to trace around those so I know exactly where to. Uh, drop down and countersink a plug to make the jig. So here I've got a 7 8 of an inch, so it's about a half an inch um, drop here. And I'm going to put this down so that the hole comes all the way through to give me a pilot on the other side. I can take and line this up with the holes that I've already made. Now that I have all of those holes preset, we're going to do another awkward voiceover. I'm going to take the pieces of the handle that I've uh, cut to size, we're going to drop those down into each one of those holes, and that'll give me the jig template shape, but I want to secure those um, with some screws on the back, just because I'm going to be putting some pressure on it, and I don't want those to move around. So let's go ahead and screw those in, and get on to the bending. So, here's the height of this, and I'll just measure those together. That's the height there, about that far, right? Nothing fancy. Take that, put it into the vise, crank it down, and we'll bend this over flat. Now, I'll go ahead and open this up to put my template into the vise. Crank that down. And I've got this hook end that can go right in there. And I've got a feeling that the tripod's going to be in the way. And now all we got to do is bend. Tap that down. up and uh, you can see I might need to adjust a little bit but 
There it is. Pretty good shape. Last, we'll close this guy into the vise. Give it a little smack. There we go. Okay. You can see that I've repeated this a couple of times. Then we just Placement springs for <clears throat> the Glad Rocker. Oh, and there it is. It didn't take long to do, but it worked. And if they break again, I know exactly how to fix them because I still have the jig. <laughs>